Hello everyone, Vlad is here and this is a quick report from the 360 Avionics flight deck. Uh, first of all, I would like to say uh, thank you very much for all your support to all of our customers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You really supporting our business, you helping us to grow, you helping us to work on a new projects, new products and that really helps a lot. Also, thank you for all your feedbacks and reports about the quality of our products, what you would like to see needs to be improved, changed, or some new features added. That's very valuable information for us as for the young avionics manufacturer, well, relatively young, comparing to many others. And um, despite right now the times are quite uneven with all those possible tariffs to Canada from United States, we hope that there is always a path for us to be presented on both Canadian and of course North American United States market. So we would like to stay on this market as we see that the, um, uh, that the community of the experimental owners is growing, constantly growing. We're receiving many interesting requests, many interesting suggestions from customers, potential customers and just from the viewers of uh, my channel. So thank you for that. I would like to provide you with the quick update of what's happening right now, what are our plans, what are we working on and what to expect. Well, first of all, as any new year start, it's always a very busy period of time because we have lots of planning uh, for upcoming year, lots of new ideas uh, for new products. Also, we're already starting to prepare for the Oshkosh, where we're going to be again presented as a vendor. So everyone who's planning to visit Oshkosh this 2025 in July, please visit our booth. We will update later about the location. And our location this time will be different, a little bit different, but in the same hangar A. Of course, we working on flight testing of our products, our primary flight testing airplane currently undergoing the uh, annual inspection. As soon as it's completed, we're going to continue flight testing of our new products. Uh, past year showed us that there is a good, strong interest to our products, which you help us with by watching those videos, by uh, spreading the word about our products and company through your uh, pilot friends. Also, we see that the experimental aviation community growing really fast and new requests from community are coming, like for some features which probably never been implemented before in other avionics. This is also really interesting. We're gonna, we always listen to all recommendations, all suggestions, and we're trying to see which of those we can implement in which turn uh, one by one in our products. As many of you know, we do have the ELM 1000 model of EFIS, which is a 10 inches touch screen. I fly with those and many of my uh, pilot friends here in my airfield in my city also flying with those already. And this is a quite a large uh, EFIS, which gives you good visibility, which gives you lots of information on the display but with a little downside of the dimensions which require you to have a, a high panel like quite a large space and a panel so we decided to release the ELM 800 which is in comparison to the ELM 1000 is relatively smaller it has diagonal of only eight and a half inches this is also touch screen and as you can see the design is a very similar they share the same type of internal uh, CPU, internal processing unit. Those two models share very similar software, so the features of ELM 800 and ELM 1000 are very similar. They do have the same type of interfaces and connections. So those are basically is the same product, but with uh, uh, but for different purpose, for different panels, like for a larger panel space and for the smaller uh, panel space. This is a new product which we just released. We already have a few customers flying with it. We waiting and receiving uh, for their feedbacks and we are happy to say that you now may 
buy this product from our online store. As many of you know, we do have a line of the small EFIS uh, devices, which are designed to be installed into the standard panel openings of 2 or 3 inches. And the best seller is the ELM 300 series. This is a very popular among experimental owners unit, which offers you artificial horizon, which offers you GPS-based compass, uh, UAV Onyx tail beacon controls and, and many more features. We decided to improve that model and uh, while keeping model ELM 300 as available for our customers, we also decided to add a new two models, ELM 310 and ELM 312. Those models both will share the much more powerful, powerful processor inside they will share, however, the same form factor, the same type of installation to 3 inches opening in the panel, dual knob, so basically outer, inner knob, and uh, click button on the knob, no additional buttons. It will also offer you a full touch screen interface with sunlight readable display. Uh, the top line model will offer you moving map, terrain awareness system, and many more features. While the uh, bottom line model, which is 310, will also have a touchscreen interface, high brightness display, powerful processor inside, no moving map, uh, some other features will be uh, partially limited, but still it will be very powerful uh, product. So those two models are coming very soon, stay tuned, I'm sure you're gonna like them in the same way as you like the our ELM 300 uh, model. We currently still work on the autopilot, which we actually already released for the beta testers, but the release for customers will happen this year. We designed the autopilot control panel, which has the touch high brightness display, two dual control knobs and three buttons, this is not only the autopilot control panel, but also it offers you the uh, artificial horizon, emergency artificial horizon functionality, as well as the controls of some other uh, features of the avionics system, including NGOOT monitor, including the VPX system controls, and some other features, which will be from, uh, by the time, step by step, will be included and provided uh, by software updates. This panel gets installed, uh, currently gets installed in our experimental test airplane and we're going to be doing more flight testing on this panel and this product should see the market later this year. It's going to be a dedicated control panel for autopilot. It can also act as a full autopilot, so basically this will can act as the autopilot itself without needing any additional FS equipment. Our autopilot is based on the servos from another well-known uh, manufacturer, uh, True Truck, and uh, the servos are widely available on the market, on the second-hand market, as well as they still manufacture new. Uh, stay tuned, we're going to be happy to present you our a product later this year. While working on the autopilot product, we realized that we really need something to be able to control trim tabs and of course flaps. And uh, there are many products on the market which allow you to do that. We decided to make a dedicated product first of all for RV owners, for RV10 owners, and for the customers of our autopilot system. So we designed and developed the smart trim system. Uh, basically this is the interface to connect our FS system, our autopilot system and trim tabs for the pitch, roll, yaw, uh, trim servos as well as for the flaps. Uh, since our autopilot has a feature of auto trimming, so basically you don't need to trim manually but the autopilot will do a trimming of your uh, pitch axis uh, in your airplane automatically. 
we were in also in need to have this separate dedicated device. The Smart Trim controller is already available at our online store, it's already available for our customers and it can be used with our avionics, uh, it can be used separately. If it's used separately from our avionics, the main features will be is a controlling. Uh, it has the controls for pitch, roll, your trim uh, buttons, I mean the trim control uh, buttons, as well as the flap switch. So basically, and also it has a feature of the runaway trim. So basically it won't let you to, in case if for any reason your uh, button get jumped, the trim button, it won't let you uh, continuously trim your airplane. So there is a protection against that. Uh, well, basically just the simple, proven, nice, smart trim controller for your airplane. So once again, this was a quick update from 360 Avionics Flight Deck about our current projects, about what we work on. And you're all welcome to ask your questions, visit our online store, send us an email info at 360avionics.com or just give us a direct call. The phone number is available at our website, uh, at our online store, and we will be happy to answer all your questions. We hope to see you all or, uh, at Oshkosh show this year in July in um, Oshkosh, Wisconsin at EA uh, Air Venture and also we will be happy to see you as our customers and uh, we will be happy to offer you our products as per your uh, requests. And also if you have some idea of the product in, in, in your mind about what you would like to have for your airplane or maybe some specific customization of the product for your airplane, we will be happy to help you with that and to get you some uh, products which will be dedicated specifically for your airplane. Uh, from time to time we're receiving a request from customers to do some certain modifications of our products to fit exactly their airplane. Uh, and this is sometimes related to the GUI, like graphical user interface. Sometimes it's related to GUI and features inside of the product, uh, which is cool, which is nice. It's interesting for us because the more requests we have, the more we can offer to you and to our other customers. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for your feedback. I appreciate if you share the word about our company uh, in your uh, local pilots uh, community, in your experimental pilots community. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.